So, once again it's BSA to the rescue with its latest offering for 2023. And this time it's showing Honda and all the other big boys out there how to make a scrambler that not only looks the part but won't break the bank either. With this, it's first of what we believe will be many variations on its 2022 immensely popular and recently revived Goldie 650. So stick around for a bit while we take a look at this bike in a bit more detail and let you into a little secret that we still can't believe the likes of Enfield and its competitors haven't latched onto yet. But I think we should talk about that a little later in this video. So first of all, let's take a look at what makes this new BSA Scrambler tick. So unless you've been living under a rock for the last few years, you probably know that classic legends, aka the Mahindra Group, have an uncanny habit of reviving iconic brands. And with the likes of Jawa, Yezdi and now BSA under its belt, they sort of have a pedigree for not only keeping the bikes they now produce true to the classic nature, but are also providing riders with the reliability they've come to expect from a modern bike. So I know some of you may be thinking, it's a bit old fashioned to have a simple single cylinder 650 Thumber in a modern bike. But let me tell you, sometimes keeping things simple is the best way forward, as inevitably you've got less to go wrong and that in my books one of the many reasons we think BSA got it right when they decided to use the Goldies 650 engine as a platform for this new scrambler. So as we already know, the Goldie 650 engine can produce a max output of around 45 horsepower at 6000 rpm coupled with 55 newton meters of grunt at 4000 rpm. But it's highly likely that when or if this scrambler goes into production, it'll probably get remapped to give it a little more torque through its lower end. But I guess we'll have to wait and see. Because, true to form, BSA, just like all the other manufacturers out there, are keeping quite tight-lipped about this new bike. However, we did manage to catch up with one of the guys on the BSA stand, who agreed, albeit brief, to give us a quick rundown on this new scrambler. We know people like to customise bikes, yeah. um, and this was just our take on what customisers could potentially do with a gold star. So, same engine, um, slightly bigger suspension, travel, uh, different rear subframe, different seat, different handlebars, and then a few bits of the, um, so obviously front and rear guards, yeah. uh, to give it the scramble look. Exhaust run, slightly different, uh, but other than that, the idea really behind this bike was to show what's doable off the Gold Star platform. So with that said, let's take a closer look at what's going on with this new bike. And for those of you that may be thinking about waiting for one, our take on whether or not you should. So to be completely honest with you, I think anybody would be hard pushed to say this bike doesn't look the part. All the way from its traditional block pattern Pirelli shod chrome spoked wheels to its round front light and scrambler handlebars. We also think they've managed to sneak some, well let's say slightly more modern features in without killing the brand's heritage. Like for instance, some quite nifty looking illuminated switch gear. And of course, not to mention that brutal, or should I say brutally looking exhaust. Now as the guy from BSA said earlier, the bike gets more travel and I'd also bet slightly stiffer suspension and it's all finished off nicely with a pair of four gaiters to give the more adventurous rider crud free shocks up front that'll keep them on the way. Braking looks to be pretty much the same with Brembo's all round, a single 320 rotor up front with a 255 out back. But here's the thing, would you think about waiting for one? And this ties in to what I said at the beginning of the video, because the thing that BSA are doing with this bike that its competitors aren't is showing us a bike that if produced will probably look pretty much the same as the bike we're looking at now. And not something like, let's say, well, Enfield's incredible shotgun 650 concept that had a multitude of single piece billet cut aluminium components that don't get me wrong, looked absolutely brilliant, but realistically, they were never ever going to see the light of day. So yes, I honestly think this bike will be the second model to roll off BSA's production line. But if you are thinking about waiting for one, well, I also think you're going to have to be a bit patient as you're going to have a bit of a wait on your hands. So with everything we know about this bike, I have a question for you, and it's this. If you could get your hands on this bike tomorrow, would you actually take it for an off-road scramble? Or do you, like me and many others think, the rash of retro-inspired scramblers that are about nowadays are scramblers in name only, and are realistically only fit for the road? Don't forget to thumbs up, sub if you want. My name's Bobby Max, I'm out of here.